I've added a new feature to Ready Runner that turns it into an AI text and code editor. In my last video, I introduced Ready Runner, which is an AI chat tool powered by ChatGPT. Runs on your desktop, has a really slick UI and a lot of cool features. But now it has a feature called the Scratch Pad that lets you collaborate on text with the AI. The best use case of ChatGPT and similar tools is working with text and working with code. It makes so much more sense to have this type of a UI where you have your text on the side and your chat on the other side. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three really cool use cases of the Scratchpad feature. The first is asking questions about text. The next is writing or editing text. And my favorite, the third one is writing code with the Ready Runner Scratchpad. So first, let me show you asking questions about text. So if I paste in the text of an email here, then I can ask for a summary and I get the summary here. And it's just so much more ergonomic to have the text document over on the side and not paste it into the chat. And I can ask another question like, are there any action items for me in the email? And I get that back in the chat. Now you can also ask the AI to write something for you. So I'm gonna start with a blank scratch pad by clicking once here just to activate it. And then I'm gonna say, write a list of four computer history trivia questions. Now the AI will first respond in the chat and then begin writing and you can see it writing into the scratch pad. And I can come in here and edit the text myself and then I can ask for further changes to the text. So I'm actually gonna first ask, what is the answer to number four? Because I think the answer is Commodore, which is too easy of an answer. And it is. So I'm gonna say that's too easy. Replace number four with a question about Steve Jobs. I get that confirmation in the chat and now I can see the document being recreated this time with the question I asked for in number four. Now this question still seems too easy to me, so I'm gonna be more specific and just say, change the one about Steve Jobs to something about his title after he returned to Apple. And it's nice that I can just say the one about Steve Jobs, and I don't need to say specifically which question it is, because that's something AI is good at figuring out. Now I'm gonna change this first one, and I'll intentionally put a couple of typos in here. And then I'm gonna come down in the chat and say, are there any spelling or grammar errors? And I'm gonna say specifically, list them out for me and then fix them. And so in the chat, I get a list of the errors that it found, and then it begins updating the document, fixing those errors. Now the third use case I wanna show you, my favorite is coding. Because coding is such an important use case, the Scratchpad editor in Ready Runner is actually a code editor with syntax highlighting and everything. And the assistant can even update the code language for you. So if I bring in some JavaScript code like this, and I say, convert this into Python code. Watch what happens as it starts rewriting the code. Where it says JavaScript here, it switches to Python. So the assistant actually chose that as the language that should be used in the editor. Super cool. All right, now I'm gonna add an obvious mistake to this code and then go down into the chat and say, my code doesn't work, what's wrong? Let's see what we get. So it tells me exactly what's wrong with the code and then it's fixing it. Now I mentioned before, it's nice not to see the same text repeated in the chat as you iterate on it, but sometimes you do wanna go back and see how the text looked at a different point in the chat. So for any chat message, you can click this little scratch pad button to see the text at that point in the chat. Or you can use the arrows up here in the toolbar to navigate back and forth and you can kind of see what changed. Then when you wanna get the text out, you can use the copy button here in the toolbar or click this button to save it as a file. Also, if you're doing a regular chat and you get a code block from the assistant, you can click this little scratch pad button and it pops that code open into a scratch pad so you can then iterate on it. Super convenient. When you're using the scratch pad feature, keep in mind that the AI assumes that you're talking about the scratch pad most of the time. You can ask general questions, but if you wanna ask things that aren't related to the text and aren't related to changing the text, you should close the scratch pad and then you have a regular chat. And then you can open it back up if you want and your text will still be there. Now, because of the kind of advanced system prompts that I'm using behind the scenes to make this feature work, it only works with GPT-4. That means you have to have a Ready Runner subscription that supports GPT-4 in order to use it. And I hope I can eventually bring it to GPT-3 as well. There's a lot of really cool AI demos going around, but we're really focused on what is practical and useful today. And this is all available now. You can get Ready Runner, you can use this feature. So I hope you'll go to readyrunner.ai. You can try it for free and you can install it on Windows, Mac, or use it on the web.